Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I thought in this video I would show you my collection. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few over here on my desk. Um, of all of my diamond painting drill storage systems for while you are working on your diamond painting. I don't use any of these systems for my long-term um, spare drill storage. I have a whole separate system for that once I get my special drills uh, organized and in that system I am going to show you that on this channel also. But today I just thought I would show you how I store my in-progress drills for the kit I'm working on. Some of you, especially when you first start out, you may work directly out of the baggie. Some diamond painting companies send their drills in the little Ziploc baggies, and it's perfectly fine to work right out of their baggies, especially if they're already labeled, which they should be labeled in some fashion, right? You can just leave them in the baggies. You're all kitted up and ready to go. Um, but I wanted something. Um, the only time I work out of baggies is when I am working on something small like my Christmas cards at Christmas time or yeah just something with special drills typically no you know none of the bigger kits do I work out of the bags but I wanted to get some type of case to insert the baggies in because I always had to leave them like set out on the end table because I do the small projects in my chair in the living room and I just didn't like leaving the bags you know laying there so I looked at a couple of things this is what I got first the only problem is it comes in a huge set I already had given some of these away and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. I think there might have been a dozen in the set, but you can always use these cases for, you know, or these trays for lots of other things, cosmetics or spices, things under your sink, who knows? But I thought they would be kind of nice to set your baggies in. The only problem is if you don't have many baggies, they kept falling down. Yeah, so look for a better solution. <laughs> and I found these. Now this comes in, these are, it's a set of storage containers. So it came with three of these small ones, a couple of little larger ones, and then I think one or two bigger containers but they have dividers in and they're permanent dividers they're not movable but there are three colors i thought this would work perfect so you can just set you know maybe three four bags in you know each area each compartment and that would work great for if you work out of the uh, Ziploc bees. So these are all from Amazon. The vast majority of everything I'm going to show you today is from Amazon, uh, with the exception of a couple of things from AliExpress. And if it's from AliExpress, I'll let you know. Otherwise, everything is from Amazon, and I will link everything down below in the description for you. So, this is what I have used in the past for baggies. Again, I don't use them too often, but for smaller special drill projects, they work quite well. Okay, I'm going to start off with some smaller systems, some things that aren't my favorite. These I know a lot of people like. These are the small Tic Tac containers. They are very small, <laughs> and they have small, small openings, and they just don't hold much. These are not my favorite. The only good thing about it is you can fit a ton of different colors in here, and it takes up very little space. So again, you can have a diamond painting that has a bunch of different colors, 
but not a whole lot of each one. And then something like this might work really well. You do get a set of stickers with this system. Not sure, actually, if I got this one off Amazon or not. I've only used it once, and I haven't used it again. <laughs> so, yeah, another one, or that one is not my favorite. Okay, this next one is going to be kind of controversial. <laughs> no, not this one. <laughs> let me get to it. Well, first, let's go over a couple other smaller ones. I got these at Walmart. And these I have not worked with yet either. This is a round organizer. It is for beads. It's called the Beadery. And it has different sections. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six different sections in each. And each, I suppose, got to take this off first. Each um, section, each little triangle, flips up. And I thought, you know, that's a relatively big enough space. I think, you know, quite a few beads would fit in there or diamonds. And I thought, again, when I do my Christmas cards or right now I'm doing a Christmas wreath, uh, maybe a special drill mandala, things that don't have a lot of different colors, but, you know, different special drills. I thought, couple of these would probably work just great and yet they don't take up hardly any room. I could put these on the end table next to me because my smaller projects I do in on in my uh, chair, my recliner in the living room. And I thought, ah, oh, this would work really oops sorry. This would work really good for those smaller projects. So I do want to try these out. I uh, am going to have some Christmas cards, a bunch of Christmas cards to do. So I'm going to try these out when I do those Christmas cards. The other thing I found at Walmart to try out, let me uh, open this up. So yeah, obviously I have not worked with this yet. I haven't tried it out. But it looked like another system that would work great for smaller diamond paintings. I have a lot of 30 by 30 and 30 by 40 diamond paintings. And yeah, so I thought something like this comes in a really nice heavy duty plastic case. And there are different size jars in here. So here we have the large jar. So if you have a lot of, say, 310, now these jars screw together, but they're easy to get on and off. Okay, so we do have the two large containers and then a whole bunch of these small ones. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. So 26 of the smaller ones and two of the larger ones. So like I said, black and possibly your white or off-white might be your two most popular colors, especially that 310, where you would maybe want to use a larger one for that. So yeah, I thought another really neat small case um, or maybe something you would want to travel with if you're taking your diamond painting on the go. Now, I found this right at my Walmart. I'm not sure if it's available on their site, but it was in the crafts section in my Walmart. Okay, <laughs> next, I have another smaller case. This one I did get on Amazon, and it's another one. I have not had a chance to try out yet. Again, it's in a very nice heavy duty case. And we have different size containers in here. We have this size. Let me just pop open. I wonder if you squeeze them. Nope. Okay, so we have this size. 
We have the bigger squares. They do snap tight, sh shut tight. So I guess you wouldn't have to worry about them spilling. So we have that size. Then we have some itty bitty ones. Now I did find these are hard to get out. So I don't think I would leave these in here, but they are a nice size. Yeah, what I had done last time, didn't use a knife, but I had used, I forgot what, my tweezers, I think. But these are some more of the smaller size containers. And, you know, they just wanted to get as many in here as possible. But, yeah, those are really hard to get out. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we must have 32 of these larger squares. And then, I don't know, about maybe 8, maybe 16 of the real teeny ones. But then in the middle... You have a couple of very large containers. Again, great for three tens. You get a tweezers with it. You even get this cute little steel spoon. <laughs> if you, you know, are one that you don't want to dump your drills out, you can take your little spoon and spoon them out. I thought that was so adorable. <laughs> and then you do have some more uh, cases in here. So they really jam packed them in here. Um, these are a little bit larger. No, I think they're the same size as these. Yeah. So you get an, another larger one in here and a smaller one. So yeah, all kinds of these boxes. And like I said, they're, they're pretty secure. They, uh, open and close pretty snugly. I don't like the fact, you know, that these would be stacked. I, I wouldn't stack any underneath. That would be hard to see when you're working on a diamond painting. But you got plenty of room on the top here to put a label with them facing upwards. So that's what I would do back here. I would just put them facing up like that instead of stacked that way. So, again, got this one from Amazon. Have it with it yet so we will be trying uh, this one out in the future also okay all right my newest one that I got is this one if you've seen my diamond painting and chat from last weekend um or the weekend before you would have seen me using this this one I just got I absolutely love it. Love it. Um, it is this smoky black, and it is a hard plastic. It. Um, I am doing this with a Christmas wreath, um, so I just numbered them because they're only numbered 1 through 15 and then ABC. Um, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think there's 30. Yeah, there's 30 of these little plastic containers. They hold quite a bit of drills. And the thing that's really awesome about these, you don't open them this way because they're very hard to manually open. All you do, and this is especially nice if you have arthritis problems or any pain in your hands whatsoever, you just squeeze the sides and it pops open. So, yeah so nice. I love it when I am working on my diamond painting and I, you know, you just pop it open and pop it back shut. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. Uh, considering I just got this and this isn't the first diamond painting I have used this system with. Yeah, so far I am loving this system. Again, from Amazon. Okay. Next is the controversial one. <laughs> there are many, many people who love, love, love their Harbor Freight containers. And I think Harbor Freight got smart because they got wise. They were probably wondering why in the heck are we selling all of these containers? 
you know, for the past like year, their sales have probably gone up 10 times. <laughs> so they, the price of these have gone up a dollar. They are very, very inexpensive. Um, they were $5.99. They are now $6.99. So still very, very economical drill storage system. Um, I had ordered these two. One did come with a crack in the lid, but that is not the reason these are not my favorite. I was having a problem with mine, and other people said they have not had this problem whatsoever. Another individual commented that her first couple systems were just fine. The last ones, however, I don't know if they're being made a little bit more cheaply or what, but she said too that the plastic seems a little bit thinner and flimsier and her second two sets, the latches did not close as tight. That's the problem that I am having with mine. I had a couple of these did, that did not latch shut at all. Some of them are very, very loose. Um, the majority of them, you know, they they snap fine. Like this one closes and opens just fine. The other thing I didn't like <laughs> about these, and I know it's just a little thing, but you do get drills stuck in here. Um, and, you know, when you open them, you can just, you know, let them fall into your tray because that's where you're putting your drills anyhow, right? Or what a lot of people do before they even open it, they'll just shake it this way so they get out of that hinge back there and then they're fine. Um, I don't know. They're just, they're not my favorite. And I know some people overseas, they, you know, can't get a hold of these because they don't have a Harbor Freight um, or in Canada and shipping these to them would, you know, cost a small fortune. So, uh, you know, Everybody wants to get their hands on these. Me, on the other hand, like I said, they're not my favorite. There are 24 containers in each. So many times our diamond paintings have more than 24 colors, right? So you usually have to have more than one out. However, I did see on a Facebook group um, where an individual said that she uses this tray. And it is just a paper storage tray that comes with a handle like this, kind of, you know, closes like the Elizabeth Ward containers, really nice and secure. Um, all of these fit in here really nicely. <laughs> so I did get this off of Amazon. And when I first started working on my pumpkin pails diamond painting from Dreamer Designs, uh, for drills and chills, I started using this. I ended up taking them out and going to a different system. Because, yeah, these just, like this one, this one doesn't latch at all. It, it just doesn't stay shut at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, when I reach over and I would grab the container, it just didn't feel secure to me. I was so afraid I was going to be dropping it and it would pop open and yeah, I I know. I know. I am I am in the minority. But I did want to draw your attention to or I did want to mention, I guess, that there is this paper storage tray out on Amazon where all of these fit really nice in here. So you could keep all of your colors in one case. Okay, now both of these trays actually in the box themselves fit in here. The only problem is the lid won't go back on and it wouldn't be feasible to actually keep these cases in this larger tray to work out of because your lid's going to go over the top of this one. So, I mean, you would have to take these out and put them in that tray. Again, if you wanted to section this off somehow with foam board to keep these more sturdy and, and upright, that would be an option. So, Harbor Freight, mm, yeah, I'm kind of iffy on that one. <laughs> 
Okay, let's get to, this is another system that I recently bought. I'm moving all of these other things. This is Cottage Mills small item storage system. There are 95 pieces in here. And again, I did get this off of Amazon. It is a little pricey though, um, but it is just so versatile. Um, if Let's look down here. So you get the case. You get 16 of these itty bitty little bottles, 40 of the mids, mid size bottles, 10 of the, must be ML, medium large, 20 of the large, 6 of the double large, and 2 of the extra large. So there is a lot in this set. The itty bitty ones, they're so cute. <laughs> they come snapped together and you just break them apart. Let me zoom you in a little bit and look at these little cuties. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> I uh, did take, when I was kidding up a Diamond Art Club, I did take one of these and you know, as teeny as that is, it fits more than, than what you think it would. So some of those uh, colors where you only have, you know, not many whatsoever, they actually fit in here really nice. The only downfall is labeling, right? So you can see it from the top. Maybe you just want to put a little number on there or DMC code or symbol, depending on how you work with your diamond paintings while you're, while you're drilling. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to put a large label, of course, on these teeny weeny little things. But yeah, you get quite a few of these and they're right up in the front. Then you get these small ones. And again, these fit more than I thought. They're very flat, but they actually fit more than what I thought. I didn't think much was gonna fit in these either. And yeah, I mean, especially Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs Craftably, some of those where you get large diamond paintings. Um, yeah, in that case, you know, not a lot's gonna fit in these, but you get a whole ton of those. Then you get the mid-size, and that is these. So it's kind of like two of these put together. These are snug. So again, they're flat, but wide. So quite a bit fits in there. Then you get the double wide, but they're deep. So these are your large ones. So a lot of drills fit in these. So those are the larges. Then you get the extra large and you get two of these. Yeah, this is another container for your three tens. <laughs> um, now the nice thing about this system is, and that's why I wanted to try it out, it is very similar to the Elizabeth Ward systems in that you can buy these containers separately. So, you know, what I probably would do, these, oh yeah, I didn't show you these. Um, I thought they were all this size. They are extra deep. But I can't see me using a whole lot of these because again I don't want to stack them on top of each other or when I'm working I'm not going to see the bottom one right so I think I would probably take out the vast majority of those and maybe get some more of these and some more of these you know and then mix and match these are I believe hold the same amount as these it's just that they're flat and you know, not as high. 
So again, these you would have to stack on top of each other. I don't like that. <laughs> so I think, again, what I would do is possibly get some more of these. The deep double wide ones. And then I don't know if I would need any more of the extra large or not. Possibly, depending on how large of a diamond painting you're doing. Some diamond paintings you now have two, three big bags of drills for four or five different colors. So then maybe you would need some more extra large. But again, such a versatile type of system where you can get your own size containers and swap them out for your particular needs. Now, maybe you have a diamond painting that, again, maybe has a lot of colors, but not a lot of each color. And then the smaller containers would work just fine. I just love these little baby ones. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. I would never need any more than what comes in here but and everything just fits in here so nice it has the nice closures and the little carrying handle so it's very very portable again really nice system to take on the go if you are you know traveling with your diamond painting this would be a really handy case to take along it would store a lot of drills even for a large diamond painting all right so another one i want to try out all right, the system that I have by far the most of, well, let's do this one first. <laughs> Keep changing my mind. This is another new one that I got. Um, I am using this currently upstairs in my diamond painting room on my Randall Spangler that I am working on. Um, the Fairy Tale Dreams for the Season of Spangler event in November. I am loving this. <laughs> These are the large Tic Tac containers. Remember I said I didn't really care for the Tic Tacs? These are the double size Tic Tacs. So they're twice as wide, but still as high. You can fit a ton of drills in these containers. And then I just pop the label on top. The spout is twice as wide. And if you're pouring a lot of drills in and you feel that's not big enough, once you have that off, the whole top comes off. Now mine, some other people were saying theirs are too loose. Mine aren't, mine are pretty snug. If they're not, you could maybe put a little bit of, I don't know, tacky something or another or just add maybe a layer of thin washi around in the inside just to make it a little more snug i don't know there would i would think be some options um but yeah they hold a lot i am really really enjoying this system the labels fit on the top just perfectly there was only one color that i put the color into two separate uh, containers because there was so, so much of this dark brown in that diamond painting. So I just wrote out my own label and popped it up there, swap it out when I need it. So um, I even had some extra ones left over over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 70 containers in here. That's, that's a lot. Um, and yet, again, the case is pretty small. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Another one of my favorites. Okay, on to the system that I use an awful, awful lot. This is my second favorite type of storage that I have. Now, I have been diamond painting since 2013, so I have a lot of different things to store my drills in. These cases are awesome. I love them. I have four different sizes here. I just got this itty bitty one um, and I can't remember which company had contacted me to show some diamond paintings on my channel and I seen this little case. It is so adorable. Look at this little baby. 
<laughs> there's only seven tubes in here, seven containers. I did a special drill uh, canvas. Um, it was just a small thing. I can't remember what it was. Um, so I have to de-kit this yet. But yeah, I just used the numbers one through seven um, because I'm only going to use it for special drill things. Again, like maybe Christmas cards. Aren't those pretty? Um, something that doesn't hardly have any colors. Can you use this itty bitty little case? I just thought it was so cute. And then I have a number of, so that's seven. So that one I won't be able to link. It's not an Amazon item. I have a number of 15, 30, and 60 set cases. This one, oh, I did, uh, I did de-kit this one. Um, this was another real quick kit that I did. Um, so I just slapped some labels, numbered them one through 15. Um, but this is a 15 set. These cases are just so nice. They're hard plastic or hard, yeah, I guess plastic. Oh, I got a little plastic tweezers in there. I don't want that in there. And they all have this uh, mesh pocket up here. Really nice for spare drill pens, wax if you use wax or putty or, you know, tweezers, whatever you need for that particular project. Then we have the 30 set. And like I said, I have a number of each of these sizes. This one I haven't used yet. So there are 30 of these. This particular one came with a great big kit in here. So that is the 30. And then the 60. And this one I think I have to de-kit also. Yes, um, I had a bunch of spares left over, um, but yeah, there's 60 in, 60 bottles, and I just, I love these. You know that the lid is not going to come off if it falls, you know, because you physically have to unscrew the lid. It's nothing that can pop open unless it falls from a height onto concrete or something and the whole bottle smashes. I guess that's a possibility, huh? Okay, so these are the black versions with just the color strip around. Um, yeah, tons of them. I have some with orange. Most of them are my pink and purple, but yeah, I have orange and green. Um, whole bunch of them. Now, some different versions of those particular types of cases. This one I am currently using in the living room for a huge five panel diamond painting that I've been working on for a while. Oh, there's my pen. <laughs> and that is this one. This is a 60 set, but it's got butterflies on it. So it's not just your plain black, but yeah. And uh, for this one too, I just used some pre-numbered stickers that I had and uh, just numbered them all up. I had 50 colors in this particular diamond painting, maybe not, <laughs> 48. Um, but yeah, so they have some of these, uh, you know, cases with the bottles in now that are not just plain black anymore. Another one that I have kitted up meant to get started at this thing a long time ago. This is Diamond Art Club's uh, Hannah Lynn's Off to the Ball. Um, have not started it yet because I started getting into the diamond painting events this fall. So yeah, haven't gotten to this yet, but it is all kitted up. Um, it is a huge, huge diamond painting. So I do have all my spares up in here as I empty them in here I can just you know refill so yeah some of these are very very full <laughs> but yeah like I said it is a huge huge diamond painting and that's why so yeah we have some really pretty 60 and I think the 30 uh, case 30 bottle cases also come in some pretty uh, patterns. These next two I did, these are two that I did get off AliExpress. 
Um, so I did not get them off of Amazon, but they were so, so pretty. These do not have the round bottles. I found because I liked those double wide Tic Tac containers so much. <laughs> These cases came with your choice of either these large square big Tic Tac containers or the round bottles. And because these hold quite a bit more than the round bottles, um, I opted to get these. Um, I just, I, I really like them. I haven't decided, I guess, if I like these better than the others. These you can actually pop open with one hand though. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the other jar, you do need, you know, two hands. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really getting to like these. And they're just so secure in here. Um, so, yeah, aren't these pretty? I did not see these available on Amazon. So that is why I ordered them from AliExpress. And, yeah, waited forever for them. So I actually got these not too long ago. So I have not used these yet, but this is another one. Now this one I opted to get with the round. I didn't even look inside here yet. Ooh, look at the look at the kit we get with this big white tray. Hmm. I'm gonna stick this up in here. We do get some labels. Oh, look at this. We get two little bitty plastic spoons. <laughs> you know, when you have containers like this, why? Would you need a spoon? I mean, I appreciate the fact they send them with, but I don't think for something like that, you would need spoons. They do include one of those silicone foldable funnels. I don't find the need to ever use them. And I heard that drills can get stuck in those quite a bit. So I just dump them directly into the bottle. So I've never really had a problem. When I'm kidding up and I'm pouring them in here, I'm over the top of one of the big white trays anyhow, so if anything spills, just take my tray and dump them in. So, yeah, I, I never use a funnel. So, yeah, I thought we had a couple really pretty ones. Like I said, if I can find that or these two particular cases on AliExpress, I'll link those too. Here is another brand new one. I have not shown this on my channel yet until now. <laughs> this is a large case and it also has a strap back here so that if you are taking this traveling and you have your wheeling, you know, your, your suitcase with the handle that comes up and it wheels, this slips right over the top of those handles. At least that's how it was advertised. Okay, so we have the feet on the bottom. I can't remember how many containers are in this. But this is the Tic Tac, the big square Tic Tac containers also. <laughs> uh, we get the zippered container here, or zippered pocket. And then we get another one back behind in here and this is yeah where you get a whole bunch of things um we got a whole bunch more toolkits and you know whatnot with this but yeah i thought that was kind of neat a couple zippered pockets up there and then this is two layered so what you can do is you probably have to turn this one around so it fits in there. But if you have a large diamond painting where you have more colors than just one layer, you could just set the top one up there, leave this one here, and you'd have a ton of different storage. I'm not sure again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 4, 5, 46. So, 92 92 containers that's a lot of containers <laughs> okay so again another one i am so looking forward to using especially one that comes with a lot of colors either that or you could actually kit up two different diamond paintings in this one case 
which again would be great if you are taking this on a trip and you're taking more than one diamond painting along. So isn't that cute? It does look like a little suitcase. Again, from Amazon. Another very large case. This one I did show on my channel a while ago. Yes, I picked the purple one. <laughs> I think it came in, I don't know, three or four colors. Um, but this thing is huge. Again, it does have a strap on the back. You have these rubbery handles. Now, a lot of the containers are not in here. <laughs> I stole from it and I used it for the next system I'm going to be showing you. <laughs> I needed a bunch of bottles for that. So these are all over the place, but I thought, because I was doing this video, this is another option. A lot of these all came out. Like I said, I was going through and pulling a whole bunch of these bottles out because I needed a bunch. Um, and I knew I had a whole bunch in here. I forgot how many are actually in here. But yeah, there's... There's a ton. And again, you have the mesh pocket out here with a zipper. And it zips around and you have another section back behind this top one. So, yeah, another really nice, like, travel case. It looks like another little mini suitcase. <laughs> all right, now, the system that I do like and what I use all these bottles for is this and I'm not sure if I showed this on my channel or if I just talked about it the last diamond painting that I did was um it was for the uh oh this was uh I think it was a Randall Spangler for the drills and chills it was the Halloween one I used this all this is is an acrylic stand that you put together with these little screws and this is for a display for fingernail polish <laughs> this comes in a lot of different sizes i opted for the largest size which i see now i probably wouldn't have needed to because the top two trays are empty however when i used this and I had this on my table upstairs where I diamond painted. I had my glue dots up in here. I had spare drill pens. I was enhancing the diamond painting with some glow in the dark drills and I added some ABs to it and some rhinestones. So I kept all that in here. So you have lots of room for accessories, um, things like that. Now what I did do, and this is why I used all the bottles from that purple case because they have two different sizes in there. So if I had a color that only had a few, I used the smaller bottle. Now, if you had to do that, that's fine. However, the smaller bottles, I found that if you had a small bottle back behind a tall one, because it's not much taller than the lip of the shelf, sometimes it was a little hard to get at. So. I think due to the fact that I have so many of the large bottles, even if I only have a few drills of a certain color, I think I'm still going to put them in the big bottle. They're just easier to grab as I'm working. So that was the only thing that I noticed. But otherwise, this works fantastic. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, the only reason I'm not doing it for using it for this particular canvas that I'm doing now is because I really wanted to try out the larger square Tic Tac containers. And this is working fabulous too. So, yay. All right, last but not least is my absolute favorite. Like I said, I have been diamond painting for, you know, eight years now. This is my first system that I used, and it is still my favorite. That is the Elizabeth Ward system. 
love, love, love these. They are so heavy duty. I never have to worry about my drills spilling. They're in this nice tray, but they're so accessible. So you can buy these trays empty like this. You can buy them. Well, this is when I have to de-kit because I did. Oh, that's where, that's what I was doing. The Hanolin Alley Cat in that uh, fingernail polish display one. It was Alley Cat. Um, no, it wasn't. That's this one. Oh, my gosh. It was Randall Spangler. Okay. Okay. Um, so you can get one with a variety of different size containers. So we have large. We have medium. There are smalls. And then they are what they call tinies. You can also get a tray that is completely filled with tinies. And this used to be the system that I stored all my spare drills in for my permanent storage. However, I was very limited on how much of each color I could save. Um, I had like four trays full because I only did squares for the first, I don't know how many years of diamond painting. So yeah, I had four trays almost full <laughs> of all the different DMC colors. Um, but yeah, I was really limited. So I have a ton of these tinies and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, doesn't matter where I put these because I have to de-kit this anyhow. So there are four different size of containers. Like I said, you can get the empty tray. You can get one filled with a variety of different size of containers. You can also get one filled with just all tinies. And there's 80 some that comes in that set. Um, so yeah, a couple different ways that you can order these systems. Now I know they do have cheaper versions. Um, on AliExpress, and I think a few diamond painting companies are offering them now. But if you look on AliExpress, theirs versus the true Elizabeth Ward systems, the AliExpress ones are $2 cheaper, two something. Um, for that little bit of difference, I would rather purchase the true Elizabeth Ward uh, set because I know it's high quality. I know the plastic. I'm not sure what those other ones from AliExpress are like, and they're probably just fine. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't used one yet. Um, and like I said, they're probably just fine, but for that little bit of difference, having to wait, you know, like a month for them. No, I'll, I'll just, I'll stick with these from uh, Amazon. <laughs> So, all of the different sizes that you can get, like I had mentioned, I was running out of the mediums and the smalls. This is how I store, pardon my arms, all of my extra containers. Now, I have a large one for the tinies because, yeah, I have so many. And... This is even having a number of different kits kitted up. So this is not all of them. I actually have another container for the tinies. They won't all fit in here once I de-kit. My other, my other ones that have to be de-kitted. Yeah. Again, because I used to store my permanent storage. Um, this is Smalls. Again, I ran out. <laughs> then I have the mediums. I only had a couple left of those. And then larges. And I only have one left of that. I may have to order some extras of that. I don't know. Once I de-kit down, you know, I don't want to order anything more until I de-kit and I actually see what I all have. I normally only have one diamond painting going at a time. That's all I've ever had. However, <laughs> things have changed. Um, now I do have a heaven and earth design uh, diamond painting going upstairs. I have my Randall Spangler going for the seasonal Spangler event. I never did finish that great big waterfall diamond painting that I started a couple years ago. And then I have my great big five panel downstairs. I have a couple of cr little Christmas projects going on. So 
yeah, it's very unusual for me. Very unusual. <laughs> um, but, you know, that that's the way it goes. Uh, so, yeah, again, my absolute favorite. Um, between this and those cases, I just love them. And like I said, I'm really, really getting to like this, too. Um, I definitely want to try some of these others that I've shown, uh, especially this one. I'm real curious about this Cottage Mills. This one, too, for being a new one. And like I said, I've only used it now for this first one. But, oh, I love those. Love, love, love. So, I have a lot of them I really, really like. Um, I like the versatility of the... Um, Elizabeth Ward cases, and I think that's that's why I like them so much. Um, with the different size containers, you mix and match and pull what you need and, you know, whatever. And they're very heavy duty. I've never had drills, you know, pop out of these with the, with the top popping open. Again, let me, let me get one out of here. Um, if you, because these spouts open up quite large, um, even on the, where's the tines? Even on the real small ones, you know, they open up nice and big. So if you're having to put, you know, maybe you're cutting apart all those little bitty bags. <laughs> Thank God we don't get a lot of those anymore. Um, and this lid is just getting in your way. These do come off completely. Oh, sure, this one's in tight. But they do come off completely. Um, and then you just pop them back in. So, yeah, like I said, I've never had one pop open on me yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> now that I say that. Yeah. So, there you have it. A whole ton of different options for storing your diamond painting drills or diamonds or whatever you want to call them. I'll put my favorite right on top. <laughs> well, I guess it's not on top. Anyhow, I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the options that I have. Like I said, the vast majority of this is all available on Amazon. Hopefully, I will remember to link absolutely everything I showed here today. I'm going to have to watch this video and just make sure that I got everything. <laughs> um, the couple of things that aren't on Amazon, um, again, the few, them couple of things from Walmart I won't be able to link. I'll see if I can link those two pretty cases from AliExpress. Um, and then, of course, Harbor Freight. I, I won't be able to link. Well, actually, I could because they are available on the website. I'll see. I'll, uh, otherwise, you can buy them in the store, too. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm looking around my uh, desk here to see if I have anything I missed. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much. Again, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative. If you did, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And, as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.